Hi everyone, welcome to another video on the real estate spot. Today we'll be taking a look at Wim Estates, which is located in Old Arbor, St. Catherine. So Wim Estate, um, if persons are familiar with New Arbor Village 2, which is a development in Old Arbor, you have around maybe about four of the New Arbor Villages, I believe. Um, but Wim Estate will be a gated community made up of 87 sorry 876 standalone homes um and it is easy access to the highway 2000 we know that old arbor is seeing a boom in new developments we have colbeck manor colbeck manor will be on the other side or the opposite direction of where women state hill is and we have some other developments um nhts supposed to have um well they announced so far good while now a development called the castle so we are waiting to see what will be the outcome of that development so let's take a look at women's state women's state will have two bedroom two bathroom homes and two bedroom one bathroom home so let's take a quick look at the unit so the two bed two bath will be 919 square feet and it will be on the minimum lot size is 4,500 square feet for the lot size. So let's just take a quick look at one of the videos that we may stay posted of the development. <laughs> a look at Wim Estate as you can see they will have amenities such as a football field um, community sports center and other things very spacious unit are very spacious they have a lot of um, um, land size the lot is positioned good the only thing I would love to have seen is um, if they are provided uh, inside internal laundry area but the home similar to Gore's homes for example like um, in Phoenix Village or Phoenix Park sorry um, in Portmore but very nice home let us look at the floor plan and you will know that the, the two bed two two bed two bed and two bed one bath will be very similar the only difference will be that they will have a I guess the, bed, the master bedroom will have a, um, the, or their own bathroom inside. So the patio, the master, the bedroom one, looking at the master bedroom mm -hmm, is 14, 14 by 11 living room. So it's a open concept living, dining, kitchen area. Um, right and we are seeing there the bath there's bathroom one and bathroom one is a little bit bigger than bathroom two so bathroom one would more than likely be the the bathroom for bedroom one which is a master bedroom or if not that one is a if not that is a master bedroom maybe it's bedroom two is the master bedroom as they would say but either way um you see the position of the bathroom for the the 
floor plan for the two bed, two bath, and they are saying larger lot sizes are available for an additional cost. And the unit size, as I mentioned, 919 square feet, and that is for the two bed, two bath. Let's take a look at the two bed, one bath. The, the model unit is just the same. So the two bed, two, the two bed, one bath now will be 840 square feet, and then what they are saying is featuring high ceiling. Um, modern finishing with soft tone wall treatment to add aesthetics. Same unit design. It will be the same video for the units. The documents. Let's also look at the floor plan. Because as I said the only difference would be the way the position of the the, the, the bathroom. So as you see, there's just one bathroom instead of two, but the same size for the patio. Same open living dining and kitchen concept and. We see where they have the laundry area at the back. Um, to see what the brief. So what? So that is a look at women state. Applications will be opening soon, and you also can schedule a tour on their website. So the amenities, as I mentioned earlier, they said that they will be having a football field. Um football field a recreational area they also have a community i believe one of the documents that i read earlier they had a doc um community like they are we have in even own their own like school and like a plaza or business center and so forth i guess their own little community within so you can go through on the website to check out their project brief the project brief will give you an overview of for example the location and the vision that they have for the development and right so this is so this is showing you the location so this is showing where phase three phase two is and this is phase one and they have women state so phase one and phase two of the new Arbor village two so this is just giving you an overview of the development and the plans that they have for it so you see they say they have in a commercial center um emergency services um and so forth and they give you an overview of the the land title the process of what they'll be going through. All right. So we will state mentioned that in a release in a interest for persons who are interested, they are saying that they'll be opening a portal for applications on September 26, 2022, and it will be closed after receiving the first 1,000 applications. And these are now they are just going to sell phase one block A which is 123 units of the total 876 units. So the portal will be opening on September 26, 2022, that is Monday. And after receiving the first 1,000 application, the portal will be closed. And then after that, now a month's time, October 26, 2022, they will be opening the portal again for another 1,000 applications. And this will continue monthly until phase one is sold out completely. And they mentioned that the, the application form will be on the website. And I will leave the website link in the description below. So what is the price point of women's state? So for the, um, so they are saying that for the two bed, one bath, the price is $18 million. And they are asking for a deposit of $9,000 plus the closing cost. So the total upfront cost for the um, two bed, one bath is 1.153881.30. So roughly you are looking at $1.2 million for the upfront cost for the two bed, one bath. So it's a 5% deposit that they are asking for. And the closing cost, which is 253000 that is also an upfront cost that needs to be um, done when you're doing the deposit. For the two bed, two bath, now the bedroom, um, the price is $20.5 million. And they're asking for 5% deposit. And the upfront cost is 260000 So you're looking at one point three for the two bed, two bath unit. And I can say that these prices, now we see where when Chemtech development for the Coolant Manor, their final phase, their initial two bed, one bath with sold for the 13.5 in the first phase. There's now, or it was, because I'm not going to say no, because I 
no of those units might be sold out already. But for the final phase, the, the two bed one bath, which was earlier selling for 13.5, is now selling for 18 million. And we see now the similar two bed one bath now at Women's State is selling for 18 million as well. So I guess now that is the going price for houses or for these for this category of house two bed one bath homes in Old Harbor. So see how um housing market the development and the pricing of house um, housing market is going very high these days so let's see now so and as they mentioned larger lots will have um will be available for additional cost and our box are subject to escalation prices are subject to change without notice so it seems that the escalation price is not taken into consideration in the closing cost but during your process, you can um, find out that and they are telling you when you're going to do the application, you will complete the application and you'll get a reference ID number. Upon doing the application, you'll need to provide them with a approval letter from your financial institution. You will need an eligibility letter from the National Housing Trust. So the National Housing Trust will give you eligibility letter saying that you qualify for a mortgage from the NHT. If you are going to do a cash purchase now, you need to do proof of funds provided by your financial institution or your attorney. And you know you need a government ID, you need to know you need to also when you're doing the application to show proof of the deposits and fees and you need a TRN. Um, they will not process the application without you having the necessary supporting documents. So before you can do the application, you need to do um, have your supporting documents. Um, they mentioned that once the deposit, or sorry, once the documents are received and approved, the sales team will keep in touch, and there you will be um, an appointment will be done, and you'll be able to select your lot size. So persons that are overseas, you know, you can designate someone you can trust or you can designate a lawyer to act on your behalf. Um, they will tell you that the deposit, as I guess after the selecting the lot, they will provide you with the necessary, necessary um, information for you to do the transfer for the deposit. So the deposit will be sent to their account. And then now the process continues. You know you're going to get your sales agreement um, and the necessary other documentation that you and your attorney will go through and to ensure that you are in agreement with what the document is saying and sign and provide back to them and they know you know the contact your mortgage provider and the necessary documentation and you go back and forth and do the, all the things necessary to get approved for the mortgage and when the mortgage is approved a letter of undertaking or a letter and a letter of commitment will be sent to um their attorneys which will be coming from the financial institution that you choose to get the mortgage to or either way off when if you are going to do the um cash you know you'll provide the necessary documents after everything is finalized and complete you know that they will have your inspection of the home and you become a new home owner or you'll become now a owner of um a home at Wim estate so I'll leave the contact information for the sales office below. As I said, it is in Old Arbor. Um, we may stay two bed, one bath. It's going for $18 million. Two bed, two bath, 20.5. You need 5% deposit plus a closing cost up front. So applications open September 26 for phase one, block A. And then now they will go after that. Basically, they open in the portal every month for another 1,000 applications. So, if you are interested in getting to go in Women's State, you can check out their website for more information. Watch um, their videos. Their, the application tab is there. It's not open as yet. It is going to be open the 26th. So, this application open one day and in one day and a couple of hours time. And you can schedule also a schedule a tour if you're interested because um, you have to schedule the tour because in order to gain access to where women's state is, you have to go through the security for the security post and New Arbor Village too. So they have to make a room to the security for you to enter. So check this out and see if this is a development that you'll be interested in getting in. 
and i hope you enjoyed the video and remember to share subscribe and like the real estate spot videos and look forward to sharing a new development with you soon